Hello, my name is Lisa Mackey. I'm the Vice President of Strategy for Health and Life Science in Microsoft's Industry Solutions Organization. I'm a white woman with distinctively gray hair sitting here in my home office in Seattle, Washington State. And I'm pleased to welcome you to this session on unlocking long-term benefit from healthcare data. A primary goal for most digital transformation investment in healthcare is to unlock business value from your data. It's a foundation for new insights, composability, and predictive capabilities. But there are some common challenges along the way, not least of which is the sheer amount of data that you have to deal with. We've generated more data in the last three years in healthcare than the previous 30 years combined. And within that data, there is immense variability. We have EMR data, imaging data, new and legacy data, structured and unstructured, all in a variety of formats that makes it really hard to bring all that data together, harmonize it, process, and generate insights at scale. You may also be dealing with data that is heavily siloed. Most organizations utilize data stored across multiple internal and external systems, often that aren't natively designed to share and exchange data. This can lead to duplication of data, difficulties of keeping it in sync. It makes it hard on you to establish a source of data truth, which further challenges generating timely and trustworthy insights. You might be struggling with governance, or even if you've made a lot of progress with governance, you'll be dealing with legacy of previously curating and assembling data applications and insights ad hoc. This can lead to quality issues or gaps, a lack of provenance or governance, leaving your organizations open to compliance risk. Add to this the rate at which the compliance landscape is changing and remaining compliant and secure can be a lot of work and very costly. Finally, culture. It's challenging to build a data-driven culture. It changes how people do their work, how they work together, how they provide uh, your patients and other stakeholders with care and information, as well as how those patients and stakeholders access information and services from you. We've seen this in the acceleration to virtual care throughout COVID. It's also challenging to recruit the kind of talent to build this sort of data infrastructure and maintain it, particularly when you're looking uh, at hybrid and other multi-cloud environments. But the benefits are massive and they're critical. Returning to the example of COVID, it's become abundantly clear over the last couple of years that to maintain business resilience and continue to build value and deliver value to our customers and partners, we have to address each of these five dimensions to ensure that you're able to connect compose and deploy your data assets at a moment's notice at scale and securely. So how is Microsoft helping with this? To help you address these five dimensions, Microsoft is the only cloud provider integrating tools and services across productivity, insights, and collaboration within an integrated cloud offering which gives you architectural coherence, openness, and extensibility, all customizable and built for integration by your ISVs and system integrators and other partners critical to your business. But we didn't stop there. We've combined the power of this integrated data platform strategy with industry-specific tools and technologies to accelerate the path to unlocking your data's business value. We have industry-specific connectors and APIs purpose-built for the unique requirements of protected health information, PHI, so you can ingest, manage, and persist data for compliant and secure healthcare data exchange and interoperability. You'll hear more about this a little bit later in the session. We have operational data stores, relational and unstructured, supporting on-prem to the edge, with multi-cloud and hybrid flexibility. We have industry-specific data models for payer, 
provider, and life sciences. We have analytics and AI powered by Azure Synapse, Microsoft's analytics service that brings together data integration, enterprise data warehousing, and big data analytics at scale. On top of all of this, business intelligence solutions to help you drive meaningful insights. And finally, governance from end to end through Azure's Purview platform, a unified data governance solution that helps you manage and govern your on-prem, multi-cloud, and software as a service data. Why don't we turn now to a real life example of one organization's decision to choose Azure. I'm pleased to welcome Tony Mestres, president of Trivetta, who'll join me now to discuss their decision to choose Azure for their data and AI needs. Tony, it is a pleasure to speak with you today. Let me start by describing a bit about your background. Previously, you were president and CEO of the Seattle Foundation, one of the largest community foundations nationally, and one of the largest grant makers in the Pacific Northwest. While you, oversaw the, while you were there, you oversaw the investment of more than a quarter billion dollars in charitable grants focused on community needs and driving racial and economic equality and equity throughout the region as if that wasn't enough prior to joining the Seattle Foundation in 2014. You had a 22 year career in high tech, largely at Microsoft, where you were the vice president responsible for worldwide sales and marketing of the Windows product line. Is there anything you'd like to add to that today? Well, thank you, Lisa. Again, Tony Mestres, president of Truvetta, and I'm excited to talk to you, honored to be here. Truvetta is a company at the intersection of healthcare and technology with a vision of saving lives with data. So I am a white presenting male of Irish and Hispanic ethnicity. I'm bald with a goatee and wearing a blue shirt in my home office with a white wall in the background and a lamp to my left and a plant to my right. My pronouns are he, him, and I'm really thrilled to be here to talk about how healthcare CIOs and IT leaders can think about the opportunity to leverage data to improve patient care and advance health equity. Thank you. Uh, let's turn now to Truvetta. Tell us about Truvetta and what kinds of problems Truvetta is aiming to solve with its platform. Well, Lisa, Truvetta was really born of the COVID pandemic. This was a concept that had been developing in the minds and hearts of US, US health system leaders for some time. And it suddenly became really urgent. You know, the country and local communities, large and small, struggled mightily to get a grasp on what was happening to our people and what could possibly be done to help those who'd been infected. And these health systems sat on a haystack of data and acted on the opportunity to aggregate and organize this data to answer the most dire questions about human health of our time. And with that, Truvetta was born with a vision of saving lives with data. And we're building an unprecedented data platform to enable researchers to find cures faster, empower every clinician to be an expert and help families make the most informed decisions about care. Uh, as an example of this, you know, we see this in the headlines every day. There is such a critical need to learn from COVID data and the barriers we're facing. There are dashboards everywhere. New medical studies come out daily. Yet there's so much we don't know, and we need to have the ability to answer questions accurately and immediately. And COVID-19 really created a moral imperative to solve this healthcare data challenge, to find cures faster and advance patient care while promoting ethical innovation. So let me tell you a little bit more about what Truvetta offers. Firstly, this is about unprecedented data to study care. We are comprised of 17 US health providers and growing with patients in 40 states. That's 15% of US clinical care. This represents the full diversity of our country across age, geography, race, ethnicity, and gender. And clinical care from our members is de-identified daily and brought together in an unprecedented data platform to enable research on all health conditions. Data that's accessible within the platform includes medical records, images, genomics, and it's updated daily for the most current picture of our nation's health. So secondly, this is about structured clinical data for healthcare operations and research. Truvetta structures and normalizes clinical data into a FHIR data model, leveraging SNOMED CT, RxNorm, and LOINC oncologies. And we use machine learning to carefully de-identify data before it joins the Truvetta platform, where it can be used for ethical innovation and research, 
but not for targeted advertising to patients or physicians. And importantly, de-identification receives ongoing third-party HIPAA privacy rule audits, and we're working on security certifications like ISO, SOC 2, and High Trust. And thirdly, this is about learning community to advance patient care. Trivetta accelerates clinical research learning into clinical practice. The platform enables researchers to easily build on each other's work across health systems and readily share their data-driven questions and answers, all ultimately speeding up their time to insight. That's extraordinary and timely. A couple more questions. As you're building and scaling this incredible platform, how will Microsoft Azure and AI help you achieve your vision of saving lives with data? Well, how will you use it to help you protect patient privacy? Well, Lisa, the first thing I would say is, is we're so excited about our recent strategic partnership with Microsoft. It's going to accelerate our impact, help us take our vision of saving lives with data global and so much more. And really building on the security and scalability of Azure, de-identified data in the Truveta platform is refreshed daily. This creates opportunities to learn about how our nation's health challenges uh, are faced and to do that quickly in, in hours and not months or years. And Truveta and Microsoft leading distinguished AI experts really enable us to accelerate the pace of human learning into real-time learning. The pandemic made it clear the world really needs Truveta supported by Microsoft and Azure. And we really, we picked Azure for its industry leading security and compliance capabilities and its trustworthy platform. Look, healthcare data is the most sensitive of all data and we take protecting it very seriously as does Microsoft. And Truveta and Microsoft share values and the highest commitment to data security and privacy. I also want to add that Truveta is also a member of the Microsoft Cloud for Healthcare, and we will continue to develop our offering to our mutual customers and enhance the ability for more health systems to contribute data with the, for the global good of humanity. Well, I'm, I'm so proud that we can help you in this vision. Uh, one more question, and particularly given your background, how can Trivetta help address, and you mentioned this, the health disparities across certain segments of communities who suffer from various diseases at higher rates than other parts of their community? Well, as you mentioned, Lisa, this is an area of both personal and professional passion for me. Uh, you know, when I was leading Seattle Foundation, uh, we really were focused on advancing racial and economic equity. And that experience informed my conviction that we can all strive to do differently and do better in advancing health, health equity. We know that marginalized communities suffer from various diseases at higher rates than other parts of our population. And we have to ask ourselves some questions. Why do African-American women with breast cancer have higher mortality rates? Why are Native Americans disproportionately impacted by diabetes? Why are Hispanics 50% more likely to die of liver disease? And why in the early days of COVID were one third of the nurses who died Filipino, while Filipinos only represented 4% of the nursing population. We need representative clinical patient data at scale. An at scale de-identified data set can help us answer these questions and improve human health and health equity, particularly when the data is reflective of the ethnic, socioeconomic and geographic diversity of our nation. The Truveta platform can help understanding and new approaches to finding cures faster and improving the patient journey. This will lead to new discoveries and better care for all of the residents of our communities. Thank you so much, Tony, both for joining us today and to all of you at Truveta for what you're doing. Thank you, Lisa. Thanks so much for this and the partnership. All right. Uh, after that wonderful conversation, I'm now going to turn it over to Heather Cartwright, Vice President of Health and Life Science Engineering at Microsoft. Thank you, Lisa. My name is Heather Cartwright. I'm the Vice President of Health and Life Sciences here at Microsoft for our cloud and data platform. I have auburn hair, I'm wearing a red jacket, and I'm joining you here today from my home office. You know, the Microsoft Cloud for Healthcare really is about your health data. It's a cloud environment purpose-built for protected health data that enables the highest levels of security and privacy. But more importantly, it's designed to support the future workloads of health and life sciences. It's founded in open source standards like FHIR and DICOM so that when you want to exchange data for research or whether you're developing AI, maybe you're working with analytics and operational tools, your data can get there faster and easier at scale. 
You know, in August, we announced the public preview of the healthcare APIs, and that's really where it begins with a single unified platform to ingest, persist, and manage protected health information in the cloud. No matter what type of data you're dealing with, clinical data from labs, biometric data from med tech, imaging, structured or unstructured data sets, the Microsoft Healthcare APIs organizes your data as it comes into the cloud, mapping to the framework of fire which means your data, when it's in the Microsoft Cloud for Healthcare, you begin your cloud workflows with a connected longitudinal patient record from across all of your data inputs on-prem. You know, one of the things our customers are really excited about is how the Microsoft Cloud for Healthcare technology can transform what we're doing with imaging data. It's certainly powerful to query and derive insights from millions of CT scans or ultrasounds in near real time, but the ability to derive insights from imaging data and to query and analyze their metadata in context with full clinical records and big data sets like social determinants of health or genomics, that is what's going to transform and accelerate AI across the health ecosystem. Zeiss Medical Technology is one of the world's leading innovators in the design and development of medical devices. And we've partnered with Zeiss as they develop their cloud-based medical ecosystem. Joining us here today is Ewan Thompson to talk a little bit more about their vision and our collaboration together. Thanks for joining us today, Ewan. We are so excited to be partnering with you and, and really helping to bring your vision to life. Thank you, Heather, and really thanks for the partnership from, from you and Microsoft. You and Microsoft. So um, my name is Ewan Thompson. Um, I, um, I have gray hair, I'm wearing glasses, dark jacket, and, and blue shirt. I'm joining you from our Munich office, in fact. Um, I am president of ophthalmology for Carl Zeiss Meditech and also head of our digital business unit. You know, Yun, can you tell us a little bit more about the Zeiss medical ecosystem and how you're hoping it's going to change the current landscape? Um, I would love to, Heather. In fact, um, I, could, I could talk for much longer than we have time available today, but I'll, I'll try and keep it short. So I uh, want well, to start, I should explain a little bit about what we do. At Carl Zeiss Meditech, we produce surgical microscopes for various forms of surgery and imaging systems for the ophthalmology industry. The imaging systems are cameras that image the retina, for example, and also technologies that help surgeons plan for eye surgery. Now, um, all of these devices generate a lot of data. We estimate that our imaging cameras for ophthalmology alone generate tens of millions of images a year. So with that much data being generated, there are problems to solve and there are also opportunities. The problems are really for our customers um, that they need to store and manage the data that their systems produce. Um, and the key focus for our uh, partnership with Microsoft has been creation of what we call our health data platform, which is a secure, compliant cloud platform to help our customers manage their data. Now, as we launch the platform, uh, there are obviously new opportunities too. The first is that once the data are in the, are in the cloud, it opens up new uh, workflow management opportunities. Customers can access their images and patient data remotely and even connect to patients through the platform. So in an era where telemedicine is becoming much more prevalent, for example, our platform can really be an enabler. Uh, we can also help with driving efficiency of workflow in other ways. So for example, we've created a series of new applications that connect the platform um, including a, a patient management application that helps to educate and, and manage patients, and also an app that manages the videos produced by our surgical microscopes. Um, and once they're recorded, um, the cust our customers can, can access them, they can even review them and use them for optimization of their surgical techniques. And then thinking beyond where we are today to the medium to long term, we have the opportunity to leverage the data that's been aggregated on the platform to develop new insights. And in our case, because we'll be managing data showing the decisions that doctors make, together with the outcomes of those decisions, we'll be able to develop insights into what works and what doesn't work. Um, now, thanks to the great partnership with Microsoft, we've made amazing progress with the platform in a very short space of time. Uh, we started work on this about 18 months ago, and we launched our first fully connected surgical solution in September. Um, now, our key message from this is that we have great technologies and we truly believe that. Zeiss is a great brand, we're very technology focused. We believe we lead in every industry that, that we participate in from a technology standpoint. But when we connect them in the way that I've described, 
via our digital platform, and we add in these new applications, they become even more powerful. So the platform is really an enabler for improving the quality of care and efficiency of care and adding value to the technologies that we produce. So we, we are well aware we're just at the beginning of our journey, um, but we're very excited. And as I said, we're just so grateful to Microsoft for the fantastic partnership. That's outstanding. Thank you so much for that walkthrough. You know, next, I'm going to turn it over to Doug Seven from Microsoft and Leo Lindhurst, who's also from Zeiss, to talk a little bit about how they built this in the Azure ecosystem. Thank you, Heather. Hi, everybody. I'm Doug Seven. I'm the general manager for our Azure Health Data Platform. I'm joining you today from a conference room at the Microsoft headquarters in Redmond. I'm male. I have dark hair. I'm wearing glasses and a purple sweater. And today, I'm joined by Leo Lindhorst from Zeiss Digital Innovation. Thank you for joining us today, Leo. Thank you for having me, Doug. Um, I'm Leo Lindhorst from Zeiss Digital Innovation. I'm a health solution strategist there. I'm joining you from our Munich office. I'm wearing a dark gray suit, a white shirt, glasses, and I have blonde hair. Great. Well, Leo, let me start by asking why you chose Microsoft Azure as the cloud platform for the Zeiss medical ecosystem. That's a great question. So based on our experience as Zeiss Digital Innovation from working with various clients as an implementation partner with Zeiss Meditech, but also with clients on outside Zeiss, uh, we concluded very early that Microsoft has a very strong healthcare portfolio and they're also heavily investing into it. So we got started with this journey. We sat together with Microsoft and the product groups to look at the, these capabilities and how they are developing. And we have seen that Microsoft has a portfolio of services that other providers just didn't have at the time and also don't have until now. So basically, uh, we chose this as a basis because these are services that can really accelerate our journey. But also besides these health APIs, Azure is a great platform for building a medical ecosystem. They have outstanding security and data privacy standards, which is very critical for building an ecosystem around patients' medical data. And also Microsoft has a strong reputation at Zeiss Meditech's customers, which is very important because they trust it for their reliability and security. So it's a perfect foundation to building a platform, which will be a, a crucial part of their daily workflow. That's great. You know, we met, uh, I think it was about 18 months ago, and our teams have been collaborating on the Azure Health Data Platform since uh, around the Zeiss solutions. How has this collaboration impacted you and your team at Zeiss? Yeah, so we are very happy to be like an early adopter of the Azure Healthcare Services. So we always like get the latest and greatest versions and can test them out very early in the field. And also our teams in Hungary and in Germany, they can work together with the product group in Redmond. So we can have regular alignment meetings on with the management, but also on the engineering level for the priority. So we can discuss feedback we have and we can shape together basically the roadmap and the functionality of Azure based on our real world use cases. Also, our development teams, they have like regular co-creation sessions with the Microsoft engineering teams to really find the best solution that fits like what we want to build. That's great. You know, it's been a fantastic collaboration from our perspective as well. Uh, I am curious how the Azure Health Data Platform has helped you achieve uh, the goals of medical data exchange through the Zeiss medical ecosystem. Yeah, so Azure Health Services, they are really like the tools to build our central data platform that powers our ecosystem. So they allow us to easily connect devices to store data securely and to process information so we can make it available to all our ecosystem. So the services they provide by Microsoft, so which means they are secure and compliant by default, and they're also highly available without us needing to take care for that on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so Microsoft also is heavily buying into interoperability that we really like to see, and they're like working with HS7 Fire and Dicom Web to build their platforms, which is a really a, a great for us to, to adopt this. So Dicom Web allows us to connect thousands of our, our devices, but also our third-party devices that are in the field for years. They're not necessarily built for cloud, but we can really easily connect them via Dicom to the ecosystem to provide imaging data and measurement data all across the ecosystem. And Azure API for Fire is really like our central data hub. It's like where all our data from the whole ecosystem comes together and we can leverage Fire as a standardized uh, data model, not only to connect our applications via the interface, but also to uh, connect third-party systems, which is obviously a key factor for building an integrated ecosystem. Last but not least, Azure Health, Health KPI is a native Azure service, and as we are building an na Azure native serverless architecture that like scales on demand and integrates very well with all the Azure services, Health KPIs fit per perfectly into this and also integrates well with other Azure platform services. That is fantastic. You know, it has been a great collaboration for us around uh, DICOM working with Zeiss and also bringing in our fire service as a component of the solution. Uh, it's been tremendous. Thank you, Leo, for your time today. Let's go ahead and turn it back over to Jen Roth to finish out the program. Thank you, Doug. 
Hi, everyone. I'm Jen Roth, the Industry Product Marketing Director for Healthcare at Microsoft. My pronouns are she and her, and I am a white woman with short brown hair wearing a brown jacket and a red top today. We hope you've taken away some ideas on how your organization can drive successful transformation and leverage data to unlock business value. The Microsoft Cloud for Healthcare provides trusted and integrated capabilities to manage health data at scale, apply query capabilities and machine learning, and easy to deploy tools that deliver automation and efficiency on high value workflows specifically designed for health data. These are the nine capabilities that are enabled through our provider-centric scenarios. Each of these capabilities is composable, meaning they can be deployed one at a time or in groups. Customers can also leverage existing investment in Microsoft Cloud technologies by applying these capabilities to solutions already deployed in their environment. All of this is built on a few key foundational elements that are tailored to the healthcare industry. The first is our data model, APIs, and connectors. This is what enables the connection between our capabilities and your data and ensures that interoperability between our solutions and your solutions. The power of the Microsoft Cloud for Healthcare doesn't stop with our first party technologies. Our extensive partner ecosystem builds and extends the cloud capabilities even further, ensuring that you can find a solution that fits the needs of your organization built on Microsoft technologies. And beneath it all is the Microsoft Cloud. You can depend on our trusted cloud services to power all of those capabilities. And we recently announced new fall wave updates, including some enhanced patient views that allows providers to associate one patient record with multiple patient records and easily navigate between them for faster access. The integration of Microsoft Forms into Microsoft Bookings also helps data collection from patients prior to a virtual visit. And a new mobile browser join function now allows patients to join a virtual visit from their multiple and mobile device. We've also extended our electronic healthcare record connection to include the Cerner EHR for multi-participant virtual visits in private preview right now. And patients can launch virtual visits from the patient portal or SMS with no app download required. Healthcare providers can also launch from the Cerner power chart and system administrators can easily manage and configure that EHR configuration and have access to downloadable configurable reports. To really help connect and engage healthcare workers and empower them to adapt to that dynamic healthcare environment, we're also excited to announce some new waiting room, queuing, and SMS features for virtual visits. Microsoft Cloud for Healthcare now offers better modeling of your healthcare data in Dataverse, and it allows partners to define that process and experience for their customers. And that improved ingestion of healthcare data will really allow customers to select how much data is copied between systems which minimizes that duplication and saving valuable storage space. And finally, insider risk management is a compliance solution in the Microsoft 365 environment that helps minimize those internal risks by enabling healthcare organizations to detect, investigate, and act on malicious or inadvertent activities inside their organizations. All of this is built with a desired outcome of delivering better patient experiences, delivering better insights that drive positive change, and overall better care across the entire care continuum. Microsoft Cloud for Healthcare really helps to unlock the value of your health data, and it enables a unified perspective approach across interoperability which removes those data silos and unifies data from across your organization, the modularity, the fully customizable and configurable way that you can do this and unique to your environment and business processes, the agility providing you with full visibility into your data supported by AI analyses that enables new use cases and insights and extensibility, our tools and systems really make it easy to adapt and grow specific to your organization. 
And of course, it's all built on a foundation of security, compliance, and trust. The Microsoft Cloud is designed to support your organization to protect sensitive information and prevent cybercrime and data breaches, to stay ahead of your evolving industry regulations and requirements, and ensure your data is private and under your control. Thank you again to our speakers in today's session. Here are just some additional opportunities to learn more. You can explore the Microsoft Cloud for Healthcare at aka.ms slash cloud for healthcare. You can also join us in the connection zone for our healthcare Ask the Experts session on October 3rd at 1.30 to 2 p.m. Pacific time. There's also a great session on insider risk beware, how Microsoft 365 secures and supports your organization from the inside out. Thank you for sharing your time with us today. Keep safe and we look forward to seeing you all in the future. Have a great day.